So if you guys have been subscribed to this channel for a little while, you will know that I absolutely love different aspects of evolutionary psychology because a lot of it is based in facts and or scientific research. So today I want to give you some concrete examples, some examples that you might think that are shit tests or that you might wonder what the heck is she doing? Why is she acting like this? And it's because she freaking likes you, you dumb butt. So wake up. So I'm going to break it down into six different categories and underneath each of those categories, I'm going to give you some very, very concrete behaviors to start paying attention to. So the first category is hyper feminized behavior. Now, what do I mean by this? If you've ever been around a girl and she's kind of giving you the smirk or the fake smile. Another thing is where she's kind of talking softly. I know I used to do this and I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it because until I started doing some of this research, I didn't realize I was doing it. But when a woman kind of starts to talk a little differently or she'll pick up the phone and she'll kind of give you that giddy little hi or hello, kind of that hyper feminized voice. Yeah, that's actually something that we do when we like you. Another thing that we do is pretending to be kind of the weaker sex. Oh, you know, having you, oh, there's a, there's a, there's an ant or there's a, a cockroach. Can you kill the cockroach for me? Or she'll give you that jar, right? Hey, honey, can you open this jar for me? You're so strong. I can't do it. She might also pretend to be kind of dumb or clueless around you and have you try and figure something else out because she wants to elevate your manhood. She wants to bolster your ego. So she might play dumb and act like she doesn't know something when you might know that she does, but it's because she doesn't want to, again, we're taught as women a long time ago that, you know, to like bolster a man's ego. So you might be going, okay, why are you pretending to be dumb when she's not? She's really not. She just wants to, she just wants to show you that, you know, that you're the man, you're the man of the relationship and she wants to bolster that. And the last thing that she might do in this category with these hyper feminized behaviors is laugh at all your jokes, even if if they're not funny. If she's kind of giggly or overly nervous or just kind of just kind of laughing a little bit more than usual, that there's some nervous energy underneath that, which is a very common display that she likes you. Women get nervous around men that they like. So the next category are what I like to call the Virgin Mary behaviors. Now, again, men will oftentimes think that they're getting shit tested or that they, you know, are sleeping with the alcohol alphas and not the betas and all of that sexual marketplace crap. But really, yes, a woman will want to take things slow. A woman will want to kind of pump the brakes a little bit. A woman will be shy when she's talking about, you know, sexual things because she doesn't want to give you the wrong idea. She wants you to think that she is wifey material. This is why I tell men all the time that you're wasting your breath and asking a woman for her body count because she's just going to lie to you. There's like, what are you doing? If she likes you, she is literally going to make up any number that she thinks that is acceptable to you. So just stop asking. But anyway, she's going to do that. She's going to be kind of um, laid back. She's going to kind of kind of hold back when it comes to talking about her past or talking about sexual things because she just really wants you to think that you are the only man that can see her in this light. She doesn't want to be perceived to be promiscuous by you. And she might also make you wait a little bit longer, pretending that, you know, she it's been a long time for her that she hasn't really, you know, engaged in anything with another man for a long time. And, you know, that you might perceive them to be a little bit harder to get. And men will perceive that as rejection. Men will perceive that as, oh, well, she's, she's clearly not going to be um, as more innocent than I would like. But this is all about that Madonna whore aspect. Women know that men like that. And so those are the behaviors they are going to try and, and portray to you. So that's why it's, you have to go slow when talking about these conversations. And that's why it's, you know, it's good to know that women are typically a little freaks underneath it all, but they're not going to show it to you, especially early on if they really like you. So the third category and one category that I don't think you're going to like, but it is the truth. It is all about competing strategic behaviors. So what does that mean? This might look like her pretending to be busy and playing games with text messaging. I know it is ridiculous and it's so dumb, but if a woman is available to you all the time, she might think in her head that you don't think that she has a lot of options. Same thing goes for men. I think it's crap. I think it sucks. I think after a while, as you, you kind of age out of this, after about 35, this is all kind of dumb. But I do 
you know that women in their 20s are fed this lie that they have to appear to be busier than they really are? Because what it does in you is it actually elicits male competitive behaviors. It actually elicits you to think, what is she doing? Who else is she talking to? I mean, some men not, but a lot of men want to be the one that catches the lion that's chasing, that's running away. So she knows that and she knows how to elicit that competitive strategy with you. So if you think that she's talking to other guys, or if you think that she's, you know, out on a Friday night, there's a lot of men who will be intrigued by that. There's a lot of men that actually get turned on by that, unfortunately. So they're just re kind of rewarding the behavior that they see. Number four are behaviors of proximity. So she's going to want to be close to you. She's, as you are out in public, and let's say there's a woman who catches your attention and you catch hers or vice versa, you're going to notice that her group of friends or or her or whomever starts to move into your proximity. She wants you to approach her, but she wants to be in your line of sight. She might move her body language towards you. She might look at you a certain way. She might look away, but she will eventually start to get closer to you. This is also on a date. If you're out on a date with a woman and you know you might sense that she's on the other side of the table, when she comes back from the bathroom, you know she might place herself in a different position where she is closer to you or she's walking on the street with you, does she kind of bump your arm? Does she kind of do things to kind of create physical touch or ways to get closer to you? These are proximity inducing behaviors. Number five are that women will display physical submissive features. She might, that might include faking an O to bolster your ego. Now she may not do this all the time, but sometimes there are benefits to, I know that you guys may not like it, but women understand also that, look guys, unless you've dated a man and unless you know what it's like to date a man, men can tend to have pretty fragile egos. So women will sometimes fake an O in order to appear to be more submissive to a man. There's also, if you haven't slept with her, there's also submissive body language that you might pick up from her as well. She might tilt her head and look at you. She might place her hand on her chin. She might do this. She might do this. She might play with her hair. There's some dainty feminine, some feminine body language, like crossing her legs, you know, putting her hands over her legs and then kind of shrugging her shoulders a little bit. Now in men, that behavior and that physical uh, behavior is viewed as non-dominant when you're shrugging your shoulders or when you're taking up a lot of, they call it man spreading. But in women, actually that type of physical movement is actually quite submissive. So she might collapse her body in your presence in order for you to feel more dominant. And number six, are displays of emotional closeness behaviors. So she might want to talk on the phone for an hour or two. If a woman is talking to you on the phone at night before she goes to bed, you pretty much have a as green of a light as you can get. She might talk about wanting to meet your family or wanting to meet your friends early on. She might start to, you know, talk about interjecting herself into your life and into future your plans. That is a woman who is not trying to capture you or trying to, you know, tame the wild beast. She wants to see your, herself in your future. She's going to talk about future events. She's going to talk about future planning. She's going to insert herself into future events of your life and want to meet the people that are the most closest to you. This also speaks to female competitive nature because she wants to get you to commit to her when she starts introducing herself to your social circle, because then your friends will meet her. Your friends will be like, Hey man, you know, she's hot. You should, you should like wife that one up, or you should like get into a relationship with this one. She knows what she's doing there. Well, sometimes again, from an evolutionary perspective, we don't know what we're doing, but if she's definitely doing this, then green light, my friend. So like I said, in the beginning of this video, I absolutely adore the evolutionary cues that women and men have evolved to give one another, but in the modern world. So of course, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one.